welcome back so today's lecture is on introduction to identity on asp.net core remember last lecture i have talked about the overview to the asp.net core security in which we have covered some asp.net core security features with authentication versus authorization and some common vulnerabilities in software right so this is about um the introduction to the identity so asp.net core identity is a membership system that adds login functionality to asp.net core apps users can create an account with login information stored in identity or they can use an external login provider supported external login providers include facebook google microsoft account and twitter identity can be configured using a sql server database to store username passwords or profile data so now in this topic you will learn how to use identity to register log in and log out a user for more detailed information about creating apps that use identity i will put some um, steps at the end of the description in the youtube so there is add default identity that was introduced in asp.net code point code 2.1 and here we are going to do our project in asp.net code 2.2 and calling add default identity is similar to calling the following um, this add identity add default ui add default token providers so we'll straight away switch over to visual studio and start coding so i'll i have already visual studio 2017 on my machine so i will create slick, select um file new project and project is of asp.net core web app and i will name this as web application web app 1 because this is part of a series of lecture once again from microsoft and i wish to use this name to have the same name space as there is a download um link of the completed project which i'll post on the youtube description so i will just click on okay on my location and uh, once it creates the project it comes to the next step where we will change authentication and i'll uh, make it asp.net core 2.2 and core web application change authentication so individual user accounts so we will choose the individual user accounts and click on okay and click on okay once again it it's a we before it creates the project and puts all the folders into the project in the solution explorer view right the project is created web app 1 now this generated project provides asp.net core identity as a razor class library the identity razor class library exposes it exposes endpoints with the identity area for example let's see these are the areas identity so identity folder is automatically created along with area under the areas and within pages you have got just a view start so the identity razor class library which we will see soon exposes in points for example identity account login and identity account logout and identity account manage all right so next we will have to apply migration to initialize next step will be to initialize a database okay like we have uh, earlier seen in one of uh, our series on asp.net core so we'll click on tools and we'll go for our, this new git package manager and package manager console where we will on this pm that is package manager we'll issue a command update database so update dash or hyphen database ok 
okay. Checking every why before it does the necessary, it adds the necessary necessary references and folders and updates the database, creates the database and adds the necessary identity tables. Okay. So it initialized application database context using provided this with option. There's a few things. Options none. Okay. And all other things it has created. Right. So done. Finally done. So it has created all these stuff. Create unique, in, unique index. Create index. So it has uh, executed these commands. Okay. Um, we create table. It has created table, ASP net user tokens, and it has created another table, ASP net user roles, which we'll inspect soon, ASP net user logins, and ASP net user claims, ASP net role claims, you can see, um, and there's another one, ASP net users. So, number of uh, ASP.NET roles. It has created so many tables. All right, we'll inspect them one by one. So we'll first run the app, Control F5, and see. Browse it on the web browser, which is Chrome in my case. And let's see. Okay, so what it shows is this one. Web app one is created. Okay. Now, um, now I'll have to do this um, home. Let's see. This is home already selected and uh, register and login. Okay. So I will register, uh, create a new account. Okay. So register a user. Let me use my email address. All right, and give it any part. Yeah, looks like it's all right. So you can save it if you want. Right, so I have created a registration, okay? Now, okay, so now I can log out from here. Now, depending upon your screen size, you might need to select the navigation toggle button to see the register and login links, but here I, it's all right, okay? Now, I'll have to, Okay, you can, as it is on the background, let's switch over to the uh, Visual Studio. And from the view menu, what I'll do, I'll see, select SQL Server Object Explorer, okay, to inspect these tables. So this is the SQL Server Object Explorer and on this here, I'll have to inspect this one. Right, this is the table that is just created with update database com command on the package manager. Now, here you can see that you have got uh, this db.aspnet role claims, db.aspnet roles, and then this is of um, main consideration tbo dot asp.net users all right and let's see the data view data right click and then view data okay so i have logged in with and my username that is the email address appears over here and then normalized username okay in all capitals and then email address is the same as username and then this is the password hash hashed password okay mm -hmm. so phone number null phone number false okay two-factor authentication whatever so basically this table is created db.aspnet users so i am one of the users next we'll configure the identity services so services are added in Configure services. The typical pattern is to call the add service methods and then call 
all the services dot configure service methods so let's inspect this one you know consent to us at the moment so we have got uh, configure services which gets a i service collection type of object services and here you can see that you know um this is the code automatically generated for you so options dot check consent needed equals consent goes to true options dot minimum same site policy same site mode dot none okay and all this and service dot add mvc uh okay and then within this configure method okay and on this configure if environment is development environment then application this application object dot user development developer exception page it it's it opens the developer exception page and it uses the database error page else okay use exception handler if the environment is not development then it can show the error page and app dot use hts hts the default hts value is 30 days you may want to change this for production scenarios and then use authentication and then going back to this one configure services here this code i need to add something more okay so i have got the code copied from the microsoft documentation that i am following for this project and uh, let me copy the code put it onto my clipboard and add it below this line okay so below the add db context and add default identity so let's finish at that in the next class because it is getting too long and in the next lecture i will detail all the methods and properties that we have uh, copied and pasted from the microsoft documentation and i'm also as a quick recap before leaving um, in this lecture we have seen that we learned identity is a membership system that adds login functionality to asp.net core apps and users can create an account with login information stored in identity identity can be configured by using a sql server database to store usernames passwords as well as profile data and we also learned how to configure identity to use to register a user and in the process we learned how to create an asp.net core app with individual user authentication okay and that creates uh, our identity services with in conjunction with updating database on entity framework core to create all the tables relevant tables that and we have inspected asp.net users table so that's it